Good morning or evening, friends, and what's happening to the wise ones? It is JP here with Wise Guys Gaming. It's been a while since I've been on Street Fighter. There's so much stuff to play and so much stuff coming out. And ugh. Whew. But I did want to make sure I got back on the grind. Um, this was a bad night filled with lag and a bunch of other problems. Me just getting steamrolled in silver because it's been so long since I played. Ugh. Either way, got back into it. Uh, dropped to Ultra Bronze. I think this is the, the match right before this. I dropped to Ultra Bronze. I was playing somebody either Ultra Silver or Gold, I think. And I was doing okay, just not well enough. So I was making simple mistakes. So we're going to take a look at this matchup against this Kami. Super Bronze, so we should not lose. Nice little throw there. Jazz crouching forward. Not enough though. Now I'm doing it low. Ha ha! Hit him low and hopefully we can kinda... I was hoping I could catch him slipping. When I missed, I, I whiffed the uh... the V trigger, the V skill on perfect. Hoping that when he tried to get up, I could recover and just mash short. And go into uh, some damaging combos. He seems to be standing. Not sure if he was just being a jerk or not, but ah well. We can take losing once or twice. Round By the way, this stage, I don't know if I've talked about this stage before, but it's amazing. I, uh, messed up inputs. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nice. Back up off me with that boot. Yeah! Approaching stun, but not gonna get there. But yeah, this is the English Manor stage. This is a derivation of Kami stage from Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2, and I love it. Like the updated music, it's all great. Uh, they just dropped a theme, I think, today onto the Capcom or Street Fighter site or whatever. It's a Capcom Pro Tup, a Capcom Pro Tour theme. I don't know how much I like it, but. I want them to give me some more information. I'd like for them to give us a little bit... I would like for, within the next couple of months, them to go ahead and announce the Street Fighter 6 or whatever the next fighting game project is going to be Street Fighter related, and give us maybe another character or two just to close this game out. Take their time with the next game. Uh, hire me to write story. <laughs> Or just take their time with the story. Aren't you? Yeah, boy! Get that hit! I think what, um... I, I think the biggest problem with the story for Street Fighter is... You win! They haven't really established canon. If they go back and just do like a... Street Fighter World Tour or something like that. Don't even have to give it a number. Just to establish for sure. This is the canon and focus on each individual kind of tournament and an event. So start from the beginning, start with Ryu, up until Ryu fights the guy. You know, then give you a timeline where you go from there, talk about the rise of Bison, um, talk about Sin. You know, you can just kind of go through different eras. And you don't have to put much there, but just something so you can say, this right here is our canon, we've established this, period. Pick main characters for each individual time period. Like you might do Ryu for the first one. You might be more guiled and Kami on the second one because that's when Bison starts coming in a little bit more. Yes, he's going after the uh, Satsui no Hado, but if you focus on Kami and Guile, you can start talking about how they're trying to get around. Bring Ryu and Ken in a little bit later. You can still tell their story. There's a lot you can do. Either way, a lot of good work that can be done. I'd like to see it updated, and just bring in some great characters, you know what I'm saying? But that would be neat too, plus it would get a lot of fan favorites in. Um, I don't know exactly what you would do for it, but you could actually bring in uh, fan favorite characters, bring them, work, find a way to work them and integrate them into the story. Wouldn't be difficult. Wouldn't be easy though. Ugh! That air throw is something nasty, man. <laughs> that animation on that air throw is just nasty. Round two. I like Jerry's too, where she just kind of vaults up and kicks you in your head. Um, then watching the way he plays, 
he honestly has kind of a pattern. Um, I just got to make sure I make him jump. I'm not doing enough to anti-air him right now, though. And if you stop him in the air, particularly if you jump into the air with him, you need to be ready for the throw, because he always goes for throw. Still no anti-air. I feel like that would step me... There we go. That would step me up a little bit in my game. Um, if I just started checking people when they jump. Got more reliable with that, I think I'd be very, very well off. Yeah! That wasn't even that tricky, but you fell for it. Final round. Fight. Final round, we can win this. Ooh, that sucked. Crowd in on him. Crowd in on him. Throw. Mess that up. That would have been a good time for the standing roundhouse. Got my little combo, though. That standing roundhouse uh, into the stun. And I could have just gone nuts with that. Mm. Should have known the throw was coming. Got some pretty good space to get some materials ready. Got a full bar. I got pretty much all the resources I need to be really deadly. And that was just wishful thinking that turned out to be nothing. But we still get the win. Remain persistent. Jumped up. He should have checked me. He didn't. We'll take it. You win. Uh, that's all I'm going to do today. I'm going to get back in there, try to get my my bearings back, and hopefully give you some better Street Fighter content next time. Uh, be on the lookout for Soul Calibur, King of Fighter, uh, Hollow Knight stuff's going up. I'm going to start to stream probably sometime either tonight or tomorrow. It's going to be wicked. Might even get some Anthem stuff coming up too. Anthem stuff coming up too. Sorry. Either way, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Stick with me. More stuff could come. It's going to be great, man. Thanks for watching. Peace out!